student. My question is, Quran in several places has mentioned that the heavens and the earth were created in six days. But in Surah Fusilat, it says the heaven and the earth was created in eight days. Isn't this a contradiction? And the same verse also says that the earth was created in six days and then later on the heaven in two days. This is against the Big Bang theory that the heavens and earth were created simultaneously. So that poses a very important question. <laughs> Hello guys, peace of Christ to all. Let us show you one more potato to go. Listen carefully please and we will laugh together. Okay, enjoy it. Six days, but it's very possible that it's a eight days. Isn't there a contradiction and also a contradiction with the Big Bang theory? I do agree with you, brother. The Quran says in several places that the heavens and the earth were created six days. In several places, in Surah Araf, chapter 7, verse number 54, in Surah Yunus, chapter 10, verse number 3, in Surah Hud, chapter 11, verse number 7, in Surah Furqan, chapter 25, verse number 59, in Surah Sajda, chapter 32, verse number 4, in Surah Hadith, chapter 57, verse number 4. In several places, the Quran says the heavens and the earth were created in six days. It's not the earthly days. It is ayam, very long periods, which scientists have got no objection to. And I also agree with you. Wait, 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 wait. How you know that those days are not our days? Does the surah in there says those are days for Allah or days for us? From where, from where those Muslims they get their 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 words? If we go and read the explanation, we will see the following. Now let us show you how we expose those Muslims when they do lie. And here, this is Tafsir al Jalalain. This is their book, this is their scholar, this is the master of the master of the masters who the one is speaking in, in that uh, uh, presentation, Zakaria Naik, whatever his name, this kid. And here you will read with me the following. For a, being, for a human being and beast based in four complete days. Do you see it? So Allah He created created things like mountains, etc. in four days for the human being. But in there he was saying it's not four days, it was for Allah long time. From from where he got that? It's a lie. And to show you more proof from the same page we will see the following that the God of Islam, according to the what we see there, this is their book, saying the following. In other words, the sitting therein of mountains together with what has been mentioned in addition all took in a place on a Tuesday and Wednesday. <laughs> in the video, it wasn't the days for us. Do Allah have Tuesday and Wednesday? So in here he's saying those are for human being in our time. It is two four complete days, and he is now giving us details. Two days of them, they are Tuesday and Wednesday. And you can read the rest of the explanation. Now this is why always I say don't ever trust a Muslim explaining to you the Quran. You have to find out by yourself. And remember, I'm reading the, the translation. I don't ever and I will never ever ever trust trust a translation by, made by Muslims. All of it, it's a bunch of lies. But you know what? Still I will use <coughs> their lies to expose them. And this is what I'm doing. Let us continue. Set on it and nourishment was given in due proportion in four days. So it says, two days the earth was formed, mountains were set on it afterwards, in four days, total comes to six days. Then verse number 11 starts with the Arabic word summa. Now the Arabic word summa can be translated in three different ways. One is then, one is moreover, and the other is simultaneously. I do know that many translations 
have translated the Arabic word summa as then. If you translate summa as then, then there is a contradiction. Thank you very much. So if you translate the word summa as then, there is a trans, tra, you know, a, a contradiction. According to him, thumma it doesn't mean then. It's mean what? Listen carefully again, because I like the way he say it better than me anyway. <laughs> One is moreover, and the other is simultaneously. Simultaneously. So this is mean simultaneously. Okay. Now, so if we prove that the word thumma cannot come in Arabic as he said because he said if you translate it as then it's mean it's a contradiction well it is then and this is what even your scholars do translate it this is the book of Ajalalain this is your Islamic scholar and he is saying then he turned into heaven when it was a smoke and to prove to you, you know, because this guy is an Indian, he is an Indian and he want to teach the Arab how we can translate the word, what the word means. Listen carefully. Those, all of them, they are ju just a bunch of Indians. Not, none of them knew even what he's talking about. The reason it is then and have to be then, because it says there, the heaven was, it was smoke. Then in Arabic, with thumma, it's not only uh, uh, next or no it's giving you the timing it's not like uh, in English we say and he did etc you know because he's trying to make you believe that the, the Quran saying and Allah he did etc no summa it is telling you which one was first and which one was after and this is what the Quran is saying let us see this is Yusuf Ali translation. This is the official government website of Saudi Arabia. And here he was saying they translate the word then as moreover, trying to fix it. But you know what? It doesn't work. You know why? Because still it says there he comprehended in his design the sky and it had been as a smoke. So all this time until this second, the, smoke, the sky was just a smoke. And Allah, He finished the earth first. He completed the earth first. Not together He was working in the earth and the sky. Because if all they are together, there is no need to say, Thumma. And you know, just to prove my point, to show you how they lie, we will go to the Islamic dictionaries, which have eight Islamic dictionaries, all of them in one page. In eight Islamic dictionaries, this is Sahar website, Shakir, you know, this is a very well known Islamic company owned by Saudi Arabia. And here you will see the translation of the Thumma. Those are all the cases will come as in English. This is not my website, this is not my translation, this is not my dictionary, this is yours, Muslims. Thumma. After that, next, then. He said already, if we say then, this is a contradiction. Because the question, remember, it was if it was six days or eight days. Because if you count the days together, they will be they will become eight. So if they say then they are, they, you know, Allah He finished the sky in two days. They became ten. They, they became eight, not six. So in here Zakaria Naik is trying to save Allah from the from the contradiction. But doesn't work. Because the word thumma clearly in the dictionary mean after that, next, and then. You have to choose one of them. And if you choose any any of them, any of them, still they will become eight. Because then is the same as next, is the same as after that, because it is there is two days more one more potato to go and we just approve their lie from their books from their dictionaries from their explanation Jesus is Lord Islam for fool I mean